So away we go. And the kickoff is made, and oh, this could go all the way. And a mistake by Andre Pollard. So once again, the Springboks will have to make some tackles. Jordy Barrett. What a pass from Bowden to Jordy. From this breakdown, he shifts it quickly. Aaron Smith off his ankle. Bowden Barrett to his brother. And in he slides. Yeah, with the attention too of Andre Pollard, his opposite number. So it hasn't been good for Pollard. He was beaten cold there. He has perhaps committed to Bowden Barrett, but the sleight of hand was too good. It's all very well to have. And from Pollard, Taylor quick hands to Ben Smith again. And he's got Aaron Smith lined up. And a little halfback's in. Support work of Aaron Smith. We know he runs great lines. Look at that. He doesn't know that there's a player at all to pass to. He just leaves it in space, Cody Taylor. Beautiful to Ben Smith. And then inside, Aaron Smith. Looking good with the ball in hand. And they crack the All Black defence. Marx gets it away for LaRue. And in they go. Dianchi. Right behind the post and they're back. Clears it to the left. Nice little touch here for Malcolm Marks onto Villy LaRue. He got Ben Smith turning in and they were too quick. The Inchi on the left wing dots it down under the bar. Bowden Barrett may well have been the only player who could have done that. Now a loose pass. Oh, the All Blacks have fired it away and in they go. Willy LaRue scores under the posts. Look at the work rate of Villy LaRue. Work rate, work rate, hungry for the ball. Once he gets the bounce, no one at home. They're making good progress. You've got to keep it straight. Now Marks goes. Marks scores. The body of Malcolm Marks has just got too much power that close. Well, Squire or not. Just the now he's got it. Crotty. Away for Leonard Brown. And Ioani strolling in. And the All Blacks finally crack that defence. But it just took phase after phase after phase, and eventually Creel came racing right in, and so did Willie LaRue, who followed him. And it just took patience. Nice pass from Anton Leonard Brown. They probably just needed to scramble and drift the spring box. Slings it away. Squire, who didn't look too flash just before half time, but he's back there. Intercept. Colby. And first. Well, it's just about to say they have made a change at half time and he's introduced himself beautifully to the world of rugby, hasn't he? Cheslin Colby. Now Perinara swings it away for Bowden Barrett. Got it off to Ioanni. And it's like lightning. Well, Colby should have done better here. They have defended the touchline pretty well tonight, but he didn't have the strength. He went too high on Rico Ioanni, whose footwork was absolutely pinpoint accurate. Strong charge there by Pollard to Clerk. Here's the new man, Snayman. Kits off. Yankees floats the pass to Whiteley. And oh, what a move! The offload. Excellent from Yankees. A little goose step. Whiteley. And then this boy, he can shift. Looking strong. Cody Taylor going close. Taylor goes. Taylor scores. It was a little disjointed. The work of Perinara as well. Then they shift a little to the left. Excellent work from the Fords up front. And Perinara chimes in as well. Well, they'll be pleased about that. Here is Adi Savio with the ball. Still going. He's still wrenching it around. He scores. But it's the strength when he gets isolated. He's upright. He is upright there. And he's just too powerful. The Springboks are going to survive this. And they have scored a famous victory.